Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a bit different, as I won't be focusing on coding. If you're a regular viewer, you'd know that I usually prefer using Arduino Nanos in my projects. The reason behind this choice is their compatibility with breadboards, which I find incredibly convenient. In the past, using Arduino Unos was frustrating, because the components would move around, causing issues. However, when working on a video about SD card readers, I encountered the problem with hardware SPI, which could only be fixed by using Arduino Uno. This led me to create Arduino Uno breadboard station that allows me to secure all the components in place. As a result, I will be able to utilize all my neglected Arduino Uno boards that have been gathering dust on the shelf. If you're interested to see the final result, stick around. To build this Arduino breadboard station, we would need following components. 3D printer and PLA filament, two mini breadboards, four M3 screws, together with four hexagon screw sockets, female header pins cut into four elements with five pins each. So here is one of those header pin components. It has five pins that need to be soldered together. It doesn't have to be perfect or super neat, just a good connection will be enough. We'll need four of these. For the 3D design I will be using Tinkercad, which may not be the most sophisticated 3D design application, but it works well for this purpose. I will use a previously created 3D design that allows for mounting a mini breadboard. I will need two of these. I will extend the design to create a mounting place for Arduino Uno. I will create holes for attaching hexagon sockets corresponding to the mounting holes on the Arduino. Additionally, I will create four slots for the header pins, which will enable us to expand the number of pins available for EG ground, VCC or I2C connectivity. I am almost done. It's time to add the Arduino logo as a finishing touch. Let's group all the objects together. I will insert Arduino Uno object on top of the design to see if it would fit. And as you can see, the mounting holes of the Arduino correspond perfectly to the hexagon sockets. All that's left to do is to export the design as a STL file and open it in Cura. After slicing the design in Cura, we can see that it will take approximately 2 hours to print. Once we save the sliced design as a G-code file on a SD card, we can insert the SD card into the 3D printer. Now we are all set to start the printing process. Watching the 3D design being printed is really satisfying. This particular design is quite bulky, but if you look closely you will see that it's mostly empty inside. The inside is filled with a zigzag pattern that is not tightly packed. When it comes to printing the Arduino logo, I am changing the color of a filament. This way the logo will stand out and look more distinct. Here is the final result. It looks pretty good, right? Now it's time to attach the remaining components. I'll start with the screw sockets. To secure them in place, I'll use super glue. One of them might require a bit more effort to fit, but eventually it is in place. Next, I'll glue on the header pins. And finally, position the two mini breadboards where they belong. They fit nicely into position. Now it's finally time to mount the Arduino. I have this unusual clone of the Arduino Uno that looks different from the regular one, 
but the mounting holes are in the right place. I successfully mounted the Arduino and my breadboard station looks really cool. I can't wait to use it in my upcoming projects. I have already begun building a circuit for my SD card reader tutorial. I'll be sharing the final draft of this video on my Patreon website very soon. I will also upload the STL files for the breadboard station there, in case you want to make one for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others and consider subscribing. I am thrilled that my group of patrons has grown even larger. If you want to support me further, you can become a patron as well. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Ciao!